Is there anything that would disqualify Donald Trump um, from getting your vote, sir? Absolutely not. <laughs> nope. Not a thing? Nothing. I don't care if he grabs by the blankety blank blank. No, absolutely not. What if he shot a man in Reno just to watch him die like the Johnny Cash song? <laughs> well, then he f***ing probably deserved it. If he didn't, run. I have the most loyal people. Did you ever see that? Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. My people stay. And they also sit, beg, and roll over on command. It's amazing. But what's really appealing about Donald Trump is the fact that he's facing 91 charges. A man of the people. What is it that you love about Donald Trump? Donald Trump is honest, open, and he's just like the rest of us. He's also been indicted on four different counts. Does that, in your mind, disqualify him at all from running? Well, you know what? It's questionable, but it's honest when he, honest, when he answers honestly. Okay, and you, sir, I, same question. Hell no. I've been indicted on a whole bunch of counts. I'm a good person. I love America. I don't know if he does, but I believe he does. And we need a change in this country. And that change has to come from somewhere. And I'm just a small person. I can't make that change happen myself. I can't organize, I can't frickin' do any of that because I'm just a common working man that frickin' doing what he has to do for his family. But I'm concerned for my family. Criminals backing the biggest criminal that they know. Just like the criminals from January 6th, once they finally decided to accept that it wasn't somehow Antifa or BLM, it was time to promote their criminal behavior as patriotic. But like most people that follow Trump and would probably celebrate him murdering someone in the streets, they see themselves in him. As long as this guy says he's a good guy and loves America, despite his laundry list of indictments, it's the truth. But I get the feeling he'd have a completely different answer about a refugee that's seeking safety for herself and her kids. If President Biden were here right now and you could ask him one question, what would you ask? What question would you ask the president? The president? Uh, that's that's a freaking really crazy question. There's a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch. You only get one question. That's the rule. He's, he's messed up so much. He's not for the people. He's not for the people at all. And I would ask him, why do you think you are for the people? What have you done for the people? You haven't done nothing for the people. And ma'am, what would you ask the president if he were here? I would ask him, why would you be president on everything that you're doing right now? Everything that you have done, come on. These two have zero specifics on what Biden has done to their lives. They don't because MAGA rallies don't deal in specifics about their grievances. Good, play it back again and see if you heard anything in particular from these two. So since they couldn't come up with anything, Michael Schur wanted to give them a chance to break down their opposition to one legislative issue, and they made MAGA proud. How do you feel about paid family leave as an issue? Like, like paid like, like, in other words, if you are ill, if you know, per, you know, if you need to, if you're a new father, a new mother, if you have illness that prevents you from being able to work um, uh, in terms of, you know, it can be emotional, it can be physical, it can be anything, uh, having it be mandated that you be paid. Uh, mandated, no. So I work for a company that is family oriented. They brought their money up from hard work and whatever. They treat their employees amazing. And they would understand anything I ever told them, but mandated, no, no. It's, it's the person that makes that choice. The lobbyists have taken over the whole Democratic Party and maybe the Republican Party, but we're Americans. We don't care about any of that. We care about our families. We care about frickin' the upbringing of our families, our children. Our children are suffering right now. It's frickin' ridiculous.